In this lecture, you're going to learn about ng4 directive in Angular. The ng4 directive is a built-in directive of Angular. And we use ng4 directive to loop over an iterable. And for each iteration, we can add some HTML in the web page. So the ng4 directive is used to repeat a portion of HTML template once for each item from an iterable list. This ng4 directive is a structural directive. That means the ng4 manipulates the DOM by adding or removing elements from the DOM. Let's understand ng4 directive with an example. Let's go ahead and let's create a new component. And for that, let's use this ng generate command. And here we want to generate a component. And let's call this component products. Let's press enter and it should generate all the required files for this products component. So the files have been generated. And here you will notice that a products folder has been created. Let's expand this products folder and let's go to products component.ts file. So here we have this product component class. Now let's go to products component.html and here let's create a div. Okay. And on this div, let's use ng4 directive. Now, since this ng4 directive is a structural directive, First, we need to use an asterisk before this ng4. And this is true for all structural directives. Whenever we use a structural directive in Angular, before that structural directive, we need to use this asterisk. It tells Angular that here we are using a structural directive. Okay. Then to this, let's assign some TypeScript expression. So inside these double quotes, let's create a variable. Let's call it item of, and then we need to specify an iterable. So for that here, let's specify an array and inside this array, let's provide some elements. So one, three and five. So this array has three elements. Now what we want is for each iteration, we want to display a paragraph in the web page. So what this ng4 will do, this ng4 will loop over this array. Okay. And for each iteration, we want to display a paragraph in the web page. So we can specify that paragraph inside this div. And let's say we want to display number is and then the element on which it is currently iterating. So for the first iteration, we want to display number is one. For the second iteration, we want to display number is three. And for the third iteration, we want to display number is five. Okay. And where are we storing the element for each iteration? We are storing it inside this item variable. So let's use this item variable for that. Let's use string interpolation and inside this, let's specify item and let's save the changes. Let's go to products component.ts file. And from here, let's copy this selector and let's use this selector inside the container component. So after this app search, let's use app products. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice that number is one, number is three and number is five. These three paragraphs have been added in the web page. So here this ng4 looped over this array and for each iteration, it added this paragraph in the web page. And this is the use of ng4 directive. Using ng4 directive, we can loop over an iterable and for each iteration, we can add some HTML in the web page dynamically. Now, if I increase the number of elements in this array, so let's say we add two more elements, 17 and 20. Now, this ng4 will iterate for five times because this array now has five elements. And for each iteration, it will add this paragraph in the web page. So now there should be five paragraphs which should have been added in the web page. Let's go to the web page and let's see that. So now you can see total five paragraphs have been added to the web page. Okay, so this is the use of ng4. And since this ng4 directive is adding some HTML in the DOM, that's why it is a structural directive. Okay, now let's understand this ng4 with a more practical example. So let's comment this HTML here. I will keep it for your reference. Let's go to products component.ts file. And inside this products component class, let's create a new property and let's call this property products. 
and to this products let's assign an array now inside this array we want to have some objects and each object will represent a product okay so inside this products array we want to have a list of products and in order to save some time i already have created these products so let's grab it from here and let's use it inside this array okay so this products array has total six elements and each element here represents a product and you can see it has the name property the price property the color property availability image etc now what we want is we want to loop over this products array and we want to display each of these products in the web page okay so let's go to products component.html let's again create a div and on this div let's use ng for directive and since this ng4 is a structural directive we also need to use this asterisk before it and in the double quotes let's create a variable let's call it p of and then we want to loop over this products array so let's copy this name and let's specify it here so here this ng4 will loop over this products array and for each iteration the element of this products array will be assigned to this p variable now we want to display the information related to that product in the web page so we want to display the name of the product the price of the product the color of the product whether the product is available or not and also the image of the product okay so for that inside this div we need to create an html template which will display these products in the web page and again in order to save some time i already have written this html so let's grab it from here and let's use it inside this div and here let's replace these hard-coded values with the properties of this product so for each iteration this p variable will be assigned with the product object and that product object will have a name property so we want to display that name inside this div okay in the same way here inside this div we want to display the availability of the product so this p variable this p object is going to have available property and we want to display its value in the same way here we want to display the price of the product so this p object is going to have a price property and we want to display its value here and similarly here we want to display the color of the product so p dot color and you can see all these properties for these products so we have the name property price property color property and available property then we also have this image property and to this image property we have assigned the path of the image so the images are present inside this assets folder inside this assets folder we have this products folder and inside this products folder we have the product image so here you can see we have the assets folder inside this we have the products folder and inside this products folder we have all the images so now what we want is we want to assign the path of these images to the source attribute of this image element okay so here let's use property binding and let's bind this source property to the value of the image property so here you can, we can say p dot image okay let's save the changes and in order to design this html template i have also written some css so let's grab that css from here and let's paste it in the products component.css file with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that all those products which we have inside the product array has been listed here so total we have six products and all those six products with their name availability price color and image has been displayed here in the web page okay so this is what we use ng for directive for we use ng for directive to loop over an iterable and for each iteration we can add an html template in the web page and since this ng4 is adding some html in the web page it is manipulating the dom 
That's why this ng4 is a structural directive. Now, if you want to get the index of the element for each iteration, that is also possible. For that, in these double quotes, after this expression, you can use a semicolon. Then you can create a variable. Let's call it i. And to this, you can assign this index variable. So this index variable is going to store the index of the element for that iteration. Okay. Now, if you want to display this index in the web page, you can display it. So you can either use div or paragraph or any other HTML element. And inside that, you can use string interpolation like this. And then you can use this variable i because it is this variable i which is going to store the index of the current element. Okay, so in the index of the element for that iteration. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you can see that index of that element is also displayed here in the web page. So since the index of an element in the array starts from 0, you can see from 0 to 5, it has been displayed here in the web page. All right, we don't want to display this index, so let's simply comment this. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page, and this time, no index should be displayed here. So this is what we use ng4 directive for. We use it to loop over an iterable, and, and for each iteration, we can display some HTML in the web page. If you have any question related to this ng4 directive, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.